Welcome back to Entrepreneur Country TV. I'm Sarah, your host, and we continue to display the role of the entrepreneur in society. Today, I am here with Simon West Oliver, who is the Director of Strategic Partnerships for Drive Software Solutions. Hi, Simon. How are you? I'm great. Good to see you, Sarah. Good to see you, too. I'm glad we found the time to speak. I have some very interesting questions for you that I'm very excited to ask you today. But before we ask the questions, I would love to have a brief introduction of yourself and your company. Okay, well, let's start from the beginning. So um, today, Drive Software Solutions specializes in, in providing uh, fleet management products, but fleet management products in the cloud that are designed for helping businesses manage their current vehicles in a way that is both ecologically sound, but also cost effectively sound. It helps them transition from their, their traditional uh, operational models to, to, new, to new models. So whether they're looking at um, moving from what we call ICE vehicles or internal combustion engine vehicles to EVs, lots of organizations struggle with understanding what's the best way of doing it, what's the most cost effective way for the business, what's going to work that doesn't impact their operational activities of the business. And that really is what we're about as an organization. Our background has been delivering very large fleet solutions for some of the, the, the largest funding providers and OEMs in the world. Uh, today, we'll, we'll talk to an organization that's running five vehicles to 5,000 vehicles and beyond. Our, our platforms are completely scalable and they're completely international as well. So predominantly we, we work within Europe, but there's no reason why we couldn't work anywhere in the world and with anybody who is running a moving asset and especially with anybody that's looking to transition their traditional fleet into a, into a new ecologically sound, carbon neutral driven operation. Good, very interesting. I mean, speaking of carbon neutral, so, you know, Volkswagen obviously launched their project for a climate neutral mobility on the Greek island, Astupalea. What do you think of this? Um, it's, it's an interesting program where you're going to replace all the ice operational vehicles in mm -hmm. on, a, on an island that is predominantly a tourist um, island. Um, that's the main aim of the business. I think the, the total population doesn't exceed something like 70,000 visitors on an annual basis. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it is a, it's a real good starting model to understand how you would go about um, changing a whole infrastructure, transport infrastructure in, onto an EV platform and what the impact would be. Um, I think um, we spoke to Volkswagen uh, or a subsidiary of them some time ago when they considered doing it with a German town. Mm -hmm. um, and that sort of, I think this is a softer route in for them. But I think the eyes uh, are all watching to see how it actually works and how successful it is. Um, you know, you look at an, an island uh, like that, but you know, it has great potential of um, being a small microcosm um, of EV uh, transition that can be then replicated elsewhere where there is a heavier usage. Hmm. So, okay, what do you think? How fast will electric vehicles actually achieve market dominance? Well, it, it, they are, it, it's, we're living in a very unusual time now, Sarah. And so if you look at uh, the impact of the pandemic, we've seen dramatic increases in sales of both ICE vehicles and EV vehicles. There is a huge demand for EVs, but we have such a tremendous stock of traditional ICE vehicles out there. I think the, trans, the complete transition is predicted for being around about 2030, 30, between 30 and 35, uh, where we'll see the, the predominance of vehicles sold will be virtually all different powertrains. So not just EVs, we'll also be hydrogen based. And uh, there are some hydrogen subsidiaries like uh, Blue Gas, which is, a, which is a starting to emit, um, appear in the marketplace. But I, I think we're still probably 20 years away from seeing a total replacement of, of, our, of, of our traditional usage of ICE vehicles. Okay, interesting. 
And um, what do you think of Tesla? Do you think Tesla will acquire any other companies or will be acquired by any other companies? Well, there's an interesting man, isn't it? So I think uh, if you look at Elon Musk's uh, strategy five years ago, he was desperately trying to sell the business to one of the traditional players in the marketplace. But if you look at where they are today, which the pandemic has probably worked very well for Elon in, in more ways than one, um, I think he's he, he's such a strong opportunity. How can I put it? He's, he's got a, such a strong view on how um, the world should be going forward when it comes around to um, the, the use of EV vehicles. I think he'll stay in it for a bit longer than we expected. I think he might look at different powertrains. I think he'll look at different modes of transportation, which he is doing now. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think his business will diversify. Whether he decides to sell it, I think he may look at selling elements of the business. Mm -hmm. um, but if you actually look at what's happening out in the marketplace, some of the far Asian uh, manufacturers are starting to compete quite strongly against, against him. So if you look at the likes of Hyundai, they're bringing out a pretty impressive range of EVs. Um, and I think it's once we start to see uh, some of the major manufacturers really getting behind uh, their, their move from ICE to EV, I, I think his he's, he's, he's dominance in the marketplace may be slightly affected, which will possibly encourage him to start looking at getting rid of his, his traditional uh, EV vehicle operations. Interesting. I will definitely follow the news and see what happens. Um, that's it for today, Simon. I have asked my questions. Um, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to speaking to you soon. I look forward to that.